News, breaking news, everyday news on Prince and Mila Entertainment TV. Today is the uh, 28th of April uh, 2022. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload on this channel each and every day, each and every hour. And So guys, a few weeks ago, uh, uh, our sisters who are uh, living and working in Oman and it is about to say that we are in a very serious it's very concerning and yeah so here's the latest guys a, a woman uh, who is allegedly at the center of a cheap labor export ring has appeared in court accused of selling Zimbabwean women into slavery in Oman several women are reportedly living in a, a nightmare in Oman after they were promised a life-changing job opportunity in the United Arab Emirates with fully paid flights and visas to Dubai its modern capital destination Dubai turned out to be Oman the rich Emirates southeast neighbor and the lucrative jobs promised turned into a life of slavery and exploitation Fari Sisai Mpeti of Rusike first three in Marondera briefly appeared before another magistrate Eokai Luza on April 22 and was asked not to plead Mupeti was demanded in custody to June 1 and advised to apply to the High Court for bail. The National Prosecuting Authority alleged that sometime in November 2021, Mupeti made false representations to one Miriam Zuhumo, acting in convenience with one Linseo Alimonis, who is still at large and is believed to be in Oman. The prosecution said, their complaints, Alamos went on to send Zuhumo air tickets and a visa. Zuhumo first knew something was wrong when he air tickets written in Arabic showed the destination as Oman and not Dubai. But it, is, it is alleged processed a fake medical examination report and preliminarized chain reaction to test for Zuhumo. When Zuhumo landed in Oman, he apprehension only heightened when her passport was taken away by men acting in convenience with Mpeti. The charges say she was sold to a man who would be her employer. The prosecution added she was denied food, worked around the clock and was kept indoors for three months. Zumo only managed to return home after lying to the men holding her that she had a wedding planned in Zimbabwe and that her family had brought her the tickets. Mupeti allegedly used the same trick on Isabella Mushoriwa, who was subjected to abuse for three weeks and only escaped after lying that her mother had died, alleged the prosecution. She even stated that if she failed to attend her mother's burial in Zimbabwe, she would suffer from a mental illness. The employer allegedly demanded to see the burial order before releasing her. He also wanted her family to buy a return ticket, which they did to secure her freedom. Mupeti is charged with violating the Traffic King in Persons Act. On Tuesday, Zimbabwe's cabinet approved the principles of the Trafficking in Persons Amendment Bill, which will offer more support to victims of trafficking by obligating the state to repatriate them and also provide counseling services. And so, guys, that's the latest here regarding to this situation. It is so sad that uh, some of our sisters are hustling. I mean, how can you sell another sister uh, to a foreigner in Oman just for a few bucks? Some people are heartless. Some people are a resort on what you know, let's say. And uh, yes, uh, she was recruiting people uh, from Zimbabwe and send them to Oman. I don't want to to Dubai because the visa will be written in Arabic. So, I show my own and of course, I understand how to see Iowa. I see Dubai. This is Oman, whereby our Jungo Sugar Chet passport in the Toro will not go out of slavery. Chandis work with me three months in Singapore. It comes to a Maria Chenango Achuku Padera Pamwids. I mean, 20 years Pamwids. Some of these guys are heartless for you. And so, guys, I'm gonna keep you in the loop regarding this whole situation. And I hope uh, this lady will shed more light. 
on this recruiting process was uh, as a it's a syndicate of many people who are actually doing it and uh it's not good it's not good at all i know we don't know what in past but uh, you know you can't be selling people for money like in this instance uh for slavery that's not okay that's bad and uh, we understand this hustling but you can't hustle with people's souls like this that's bad really really bad and uh, so let's hope that justice will prevail and uh we'll keep you guys in the loop here on daily news breaking news everyday news on prince milan yetsemi tv koma kwezi in zimbabwe do kwa kutatua na rwanda washike pa this situation uh and it's one zone in dubai one zone in kwa kati kune mabasa and ya omana ino kwa tofungo kutoti pangu papura nda kwa sako ya mbo kone muri yangu usinga za ototi wato pinda mkati wa meshumba kutune tuwa slavery kune nguinika kusina ama yako kusina munu wano ziwa just imagine kutoti kune wano kutoti wanta wala language zongwa ya kutoti wato mbo zongwa ya kutoti wala kutoti and yes it's a very very difficult uh situation and uh, to live in a foreign country whereby wana munu wano ziwa at the same time uh urukushanda ndoku dwa nyiriro pakaipa Guys, this is a daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Melinda Temi TV. Thank you for listening and watching. We'll be back here for any new info. Bless up.